So today I'm just gonna cook some chicken in a miso sauce and it's gonna have some sesame oil and ginger and garlic and some hot chili flakes in it. Now you can marinate this overnight if you want. Um, I didn't because I um, I was I just thought of it now so yeah um, it's gonna taste a lot better if you do marinate it because the flavor is gonna go through the chicken but uh, if you don't have time you can just make the sauce and pour it over it and serve it with some rice and some vegetables and you're all set for dinner. So if you guys are interested, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so for the miso sauce, since I don't have um, any sake or midden at this house, it's actually at my whole house, um, I'm actually just gonna thin it out with um, water when I cook it with the chicken. But what you want is about a tablespoon of miso. And I'm just using white miso. Um, and you also want some garlic, sorry, some ginger, and some garlic, and you want to mince it up. I'm going to add some chili flakes. You can add as much as you like, um, depends what your heat tolerance is. I'm also going to add some soy sauce and just a little bit of sesame oil. Oops, not too much. And some water. Now this is where I would add the sake and midin, but this will do. And you just want to make a paste out of it. Okay, so what you want to do is just turn it up to about medium. Is that medium? I don't know. Yeah, that's good. And we're just going to add some oil and we're going to wait till it heats up. Okay, so once the oil is heated, just add the chicken. So you don't need to add any salt or pepper to this because you are having the miso sauce on it. What I'm actually going to do is add a little bit more water to the miso and we're just going to create kind of like a sauce. And I'm actually going to add a little bit more miso. This is chicken breast is freaking like double G's. So I'm just adding another tablespoon of miso and a little bit more soy sauce. And I'm actually going to turn up the heat a little bit to get it boiling a bit and I'm just going to cover it. So the chicken's been simmering for about 30 minutes now I'm just going to take it off and let it rest for a bit. You want to make sure it's actually cooked through, so if you do that and it feels a bit tender, then everything's good to go. So now with this sauce, I'm just going to throw in some carrots and some enoki mushrooms. And after that, I'm going to thicken it up a bit and we're just going to use it as a sauce. So these carrots have already been pre-steamed. I'm just going to let them cook there in there for a bit. So the vegetables have been cooking for about a couple of minutes, now I'm just going to take it off and plate the chicken. I'm going to get rid of this piece. Oh, look how tender it is, it just falls apart. Mmm, yummy. And for the mushrooms, I'm just going to wrap it in um, an onion that I kind of blanched. Oh, 
post does not look good. Oh, there we go. So I have some mixed rice with some tuna and salmon and it's been cooked in chicken broth and it's actually brown rice. And I have my aniki that's been wrapped with green onion and some carrots and my chicken. Um, I don't really like this plate, it's very brown but anyways. So I actually added some milk to the miso and I made a little bit of sauce and I'm just going to drizzle that over. That is the final dish. Okay, taste tester son. How is the miso chicken? We will see. Very tasty. As usual. Another success. 